we need to add 7.056 to 605.7 to 5.67. Now when you're adding any number, you always want to make sure you line up numbers in the same place. And especially when you're dealing with decimals, the easiest way to do that is to just line up the decimals. So let's do that. So this first number right here is 7.056. This second number right here is 605.7. So it's 605.7. And then this last number is 5.67. 5.67. So now we have everything lined up. Everything that's in the ones place is below or above everything else in the ones, ones place. Everything in the tenths place is below or above everything else in the tenths place, so on and so forth. So we can add. So let's add it. Let's add it. So you want to start off in the smallest place. So you start off here. This is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths place. This is literally six thousandths. And you want to add it to the other thousandths. There aren't any other thousandths. So you can, you can view it two ways. You could just bring this six down. Or you could view this 605.7 as the same thing as 605.7 Zero, zero. You can you can add as many zeros to the right of this decimal, to the right of the seven as you want, since we're sitting on the right side of the decimal without changing its value. You can also do it here. This 5.67, you could write it as 5.670. And when you write it like this, then you have six plus zero plus zero is six, and you keep going. Five plus zero plus seven is twelve is 12, you write the 2 in the hundredths place and carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 7 is 8, plus 6 is 14. Write the 4, regroup the 1 into the 1's place. 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 5 is 18. This is 18. Carry or regroup the one. One plus zero is just one, is just one. And then finally, you have the six in the hundreds place. Nothing gets added to it. So you can just bring down that six, and it's right there. And you don't want to forget the decimal. And so when you add the numbers, you get 618.426, or 618 and 426 thousandths. And we're done.